where to find the Bastion Remnant treasure room in Minecraft. The treasure room Bastion Remnant is one of the four different types of Bastions found in the Nether. Why the treasure room is the best Bastion is that there is a 100% chance to get a Netherite upgrade smithing template that you need to upgrade diamond gear to Netherite. There is a Magma Cube spawner and other unique loot items. What is in the treasure room Bastion Remnant? The treasure room will be occupied by Piglins and Piglin Brutes. The Piglins will not attack you if you're wearing a piece of gold armor, but they become hostile if you aren't wearing a piece of gold armor, break a gold block, or open a chest. You can't get around this by placing a hopper underneath the chest. The Picklin Brute will always be hostile towards you. The Picklin and Picklin Brute will spawn in the Bastion when the structure is generated. So once you kill the Picklins and Picklin Brutes, they won't spawn in the Bastion unless they are in a biome that spawns Picklins like the Nether Waste. The treasure room will have three different parts. The ramparts that are part of the other Bastions, that will be a tower with cave-like paths inside, and there will be loot chests throughout. Out. The middle part will be a pool of lava and the treasure room will be a large cube that will have walkways above a lava floor. The treasure room will have a loot area at the bottom with gold blocks and there will be one or two loot chests. In this area there will be a magma cube spawner that is the only spawner for the magma cube found in the game. The chest and the loot area have a 100% chance to have a netherite upgrade smithing template. In this chest you can also have a chance of getting a netherite ingot, nether quartz, gilded blackstone, crying obsidian, ancient debris, netherite scrap, diamond gear, ancient debris, the snout armor trim smithing template, and the enchanted golden apple. It is probably one of the best loot chests in the game given the quality of items that you can find. Throughout the bastion there is also a generic loot chest that has a 10% chance of a netherite upgrade. There are other items possible like gilded blackstone, crying obsidian, ancient debris, snout banner pattern, gold gear, snout armor trim smithing template, netherite scrap, and the pig step music disc. The chances of getting these are lower than the treasure chest however there are unique items like the pig step music disc, the snout armor trim smithing template, and the snout banner pattern. Where to find the treasure room bastion remnant? The bastion can generate in all nether biomes except the basalt delta. It can show up in the basalt delta if it overlaps with another biome. The nether does have an imaginary grid that will either generate nether fortresses or a bastion remnant in a grid space. In java edition it is 368 by 368 blocks and bedrock edition is 416 by 416 blocks. There is a border on the south and east of these spaces that is four chunks or 64 blocks that neither structure can generate in. In Java it is a 60% chance and a 66 in bedrock for a bastion to generate instead of another fortress. The best way to look for a bastion would be to find a strider, have to warp fungus on a stick, and equip it with a saddle and ride around the nether. It is better to look at the more open areas for a bastion rather than mining through the nether rock to find it. The treasure room is easier to spot than the other three bastions. Bastions. The treasure room will have a large cube that will have a flat texture. Also the lava pools in the middle of the treasure room aren't found in the other bastions. From the distance you should be able to identify if it is a treasure room or another type of bastion. If you're having problems in finding the treasure room you can use the command slash locate structure bastion underscore remnant and this will give you the closest bastion. However it won't tell you the specific type of bastion and if it isn't that type you will have to move out of range to use the command again. If you're really having issues in finding a specific bastion, another option is chunkbase.com. If you go to the app page and click at the top on the seed map app, on this page you will put in the seed, the version of Minecraft you are playing, and the nether dimension. Below this you can pick the features you want displayed. In this case you probably only want to remove the fortresses and ruined portals. Here you get a view of all of the bastions. Based on the icons it shows on the map what type of bastion it is. If you scroll over an icon at the bottom there will be X and Z coordinates on the left. On the right will be chunk coordinates, the size of the bastion, and the biome. Just clicking on it will give you the type and coordinates. I wanted to outline this as I know it can be frustrating to find it, especially since the netherite upgrade is so important to upgrade netherite gear.